Welcome to the Bonnie Hawkins Theater on the Bonnie Hawkins Channel. Well, praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the Church Up on the Hill. And I am your pastor for today, and we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 5 out of the Messages Messenger Bible. Now, in this Luke chapter 5, it's going to several, several times it's going to refer to Jesus as He. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and say the name Jesus. I'm going to say Jesus so you, so you can follow along in case you do not have a message Bible. Okay, so we're going to start right and we're going to get directly into the service. Praise the Lord, everybody. Again, I am the pastor and we are the church up on the hill and we're going to read from Luke chapter 5 in the message Bible, starting at verse 1. It says, Once when Jesus was standing on the shore of Lake Gennesaret, a crowd was pushing in on him to better hear the word of God. He noticed two boats were tied up. The fishermen had just left them and were out scrubbing their nets. He climbed into the boat that was Simon's and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Sitting there using the boat, uh, he, he, taught, he taught the crowd. When he finished teaching, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let the, your net down for a catch. Simon said, Master, we have been fishing hard all night and haven't caught even a, a, a man new. No. But if you say so, I'll let down, let out the nets. And he, and it was no sooner said than done when a huge haul of fish straining the nets past its capacity. They waved to the partners in the other boat to come and give them help, to help them. They filled the boats, both boats, nearly swarming them with the catch. Simon Peter, when he saw it, fell to his knees before Jesus, and he said, Master, leave. I'm a sinner. And can't handle this. Leave me by myself. Mm -mm -mm. When he put, when they pulled in the the catch of the fish, all overwhelmed si Simon. Everyone and everyone with him. It was the same James and John, Z Zebedee's sons, co-workers of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, There is nothing to fear. From now on, you will be fisher, uh, men, uh, fisher of uh, men and women. They pulled their boats up, with the, up on the beach and left them nets and all, and they followed him. Praise his holy name. Well, my, 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 isn't that something? I tell you, um, this is all about trusting and obedience. Saints of God and children of the world, do we trust God? Do we have that trust and, uh, and obedience? Do we have the, the acting faith? Not just faith in saying we believe something, but the, the, the boldness to, uh, to uh, uh, if God is telling you to do it, to do a work for him, that, uh, do we have the do we have the uh our, our we obedience to the word because this is what this was really about trusting and obedience because if you notice uh Simon Peter and and uh, there was James Jevin, uh, James and um and John uh De um it says uh, Zebedee's uh, uh, uh son and sons both of those were uh, J um uh Zebedee's Zebedee's um sons and that was, of course, James and John. They were his sons. And then uh, uh, with Zebedee's sons. And, uh, and of course, 
uh, Simon Peter was not their, their son, was not Zebedee's De sons. But anyway, they were all workers. They worked together. They had a job, just like today we have jobs. And we have to, um, you know, we have to be obedient, you know. We are. Uh, the Bible says, um, "You owe your master an honest day's work." And I know this is uh, this is one right here with Jesus. We was talking about Jesus right here. But in today's life, in today's work, work place, because they were out. Uh, don't forget now, they were out of work. That was a work. That that was a job they had. That was what they did. You know, they stay out there day and night. You know, and if you see, if you heard the the message, you you heard him say that they said they have they have uh, fished all day all night and caught nothing. You know, so they, they were they were determined though. They were determined they, to stay out there and fish all night long, and uh, try to catch fish. They said they tore it all day long, all night long, fished all night long, went for fishing, but didn't catch nothing out there all night long, fishing, didn't catch a thing. But when the master said, uh, uh, told him to throw, take the net. Go back out and, and, and throw the net back out again for a catch. And you know that took right there because they were out all night long out there fishing. You know they had to be tired. So, you know, overtired. So they came. Uh, anyway, uh, they, Jesus told them, said, throw that net out there on the other side. Hallelujah. And they did. They, 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 you know, it, it took some trusting. You know, when you're tired and you run down and you've been doing something all day long, all night long or whatever the case may be that uh, your job is, you know, may have you working all night long or all day long. And then all of a sudden they have another test for you to, uh, it takes, um, it takes something, you know, it takes, um, something, you know, in this case it was obedience. So the message was really about obedience, obedience to what the master says. Uh, you know, we're talking about Jesus in this scripture, but also, again, it applies to the day's work. When you're out there working hard and you got a job and sometimes you may even be working overtime and your boss may tell you, he may come to you and say, uh, can you do this one other thing for me? It's still something referring to some work on that job. And we decide, you know, oh, no, I can't do it or whatever. How do we go? You know, uh, it's such thing as too much. So I'm not not saying to go out and and uh and uh and 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 uh and, and do uh do uh too much but this is a whole different scenario this is about well not a whole different scenario but this is all about trusting and obedience this is what the scripture is about it's about trusting Trusting and obedience. The trusting we're talking about is trusting God to deliver. We're talking about God, hallelujah. We're talking about His Son, Jesus, hallelujah. So we're talking about them. So anyway, so we need to be about trusting and obedience. So let's get out there and uh, and uh, uh, let's uh, trust God and, uh, and, and uh, be obedient to His Word. Hallelujah. And I want you guys to continue on to... Uh, 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 loving the Lord with all your strength, with all your heart, with all your might, and uh, and 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 lean not into your own understanding. You know the 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 the, the, psalm, uh, the word said it says trust in trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. It says in all thy ways acknowledge Him and let Him direct your path. So we want the Lord to direct our path. Hallelujah! And God wants to deliver. He will deliver. Well, he wants to trust and obedience. So all we have to do is trust and obedience. Well, this concludes the message for today. Thank you for tuning in to the Bonnie Hawkins Theater right here on the Bonnie Hawkins channel. We hope to see you in our next episode. God bless you all.